Previously on Persona 5. Morgana, transform! What? What are you doing, Morgana? Wow! Ah! Now, Panther, ladies first. What in the shit? Whoa! Ah! <laughs> uh, what in the fuck? What? And now back to sticking it to the man. Hello! Sneakle B, back with some more Persona 5. We last left off, we discovered the Mementos, which is pretty much this game's version of uh, random dungeons from the, the previous games with <laughs> descending floors, except this time we get to ride inside like a little kitty car. <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, yes, you guys did clarify that it actually was, uh, it is a reference to Totoro. That's actually the reason why she's able to do that, or he's, he's able to do that. God. When Morgana's able to do that is because uh, people, it's such a popular movie, people know so much about it. It's its become a common thing to accept that a cat can turn into a bus. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that's awesome. You guys also pointed out, uh, I cannot believe I didn't notice this. I sort of shrugged it off, but that one question where, where uh, the answer was femme fatale, a, a woman that leads men to their doom. Oh, one of the options was Elizabeth, and it was referring to Persona 3's Elizabeth. Oh my god. Of course, I should have seen that, but I didn't for some reason. That is fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, I love Elizabeth though. She's so funny. The, your interactions with her in Persona 3, I think, were some of the best in the game. Just when you're like taking her around, like to, to like show her off like regular things, and she's like, like I like. I think one of my favorites is when you go to the, when you go to the the fountain. And then you teach her how to <laughs> to like toss a coin in for good luck, and so it's, so then she brings like this massive bag of coins and starts just pouring them into the fountain. <laughs> it's like I wonder what kind of luck this will bring me. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth was she was the best. But anyway, so I asked you guys uh, last episode, should I go to Momentus today? Because they're really pushing for it, and I'm guessing because it's uh, bad weather, which is going to have some kind of effect on Momentus, it seems like. Most of you guys said no, probably not. The, the best thing really to, to make the most of your time is to actually let uh, yourself accrue a number of requests, uh, because you will continue to get requests apparently from Mishima. Um, and then after you've gotten like a good, a nice handful of them, then go into Mementos and do them all at once, as opposed to going one at a time each day. That makes sense. That's kind of what I was thinking. And anyway, I need to study because I still, I still haven't reached level two of my knowledge yet. I feel like I've got to be like incredibly close. Um, and I also noticed, hey, look, I actually got a little tap here. Where I can look at all my requests. All right, well, in that case, let's uh, let's go to the diner and uh, do some studying. Ryuji is available, but god dang it, Ryuji, I want to pay a class, all right? I'm not you. I'm not going to flunk school. All right, I'm going to get some more knowledge. All right, what should I go for? Should I go for the kindness of the guts today? I'd like a cup of guts, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yeah, a cup full of guts, all for me. Okay, I'm gonna go call the police now. Okay. Guys, it never fucking rained anymore? Um. I think I'm just gonna go with guts today. Mm -hmm. Because that make. Oh, oh yeah! Ha! Ha! I'm gonna mm -hmm. bounce it off the ceiling! You got some guts! I'm sorry, why is it so ballsy to come in and just order coffee? A lot of people do that. <laughs> All right. Really, is it seems ballsy to come in and just get some coffee and not not get food while you're at it. Hey. Yeah, I'm a bad fucking ass. Come on, level up. Oh, finally. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> my knowledge is exploding. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. All right. Finally, I'm level two. One head back. For everything. Should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. Oh yeah, so you guys also told me apparently the Big Bang Burger has like multiple stages to it. So it's a little different from the, the big beef, the beefy bowl. Also apparently completing it uh, and failing it, back. or actually no, oh, failing it only gives you like some guts. But if you pass it, you get like a point for like all of your stats. Another box game for you. All right, it's my, uh, what did I get again? <laughs> you get? Oh, calming mask. Just put your order off the TV. All right, time to see what the shit does. <laughs> like, most of the time you buy this stuff, you don't even know what it is or what it does, but it's gotta be good, right? Better be good. Resist Confuse, soft mask that is very soothing. Mm, yeah. Good, I guess, I don't know. Oh, that's, oh, attachment pearl, that's right. Where did I get this? Oh, I, I got it from the bowl cut mushroom Yes, no, no, forget it. That's, that's actually pretty good. I think 
Anything that nullifies the stats effect is pretty awesome. So Jiro is available. Last weekend, the police visited the school where Mr. Kamashi was stopped for questioning. The students found it hard to hide their bewilderment the scandal surrounding a popular teacher. Police plan to finalize the arrest once they collect more evidence and finish investigating. School swarmed with police. Anyway, looks like that's the end of the case. For now. Seems such a downer. I'm already bummed about tests coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we can make some progress if we keep it on each other. Want to study together? Oh, fuck yeah. Study alone with Lady On? Oh! It's on, right, Daddy. I'm going out with a girl. May you grow yourself a nice pair of titties. I'll go out with you sometime. Hell yeah, fuck you too. She reminds me, I still got that movie I, I rented I gotta watch too. God dang it. So much shit to do. So little time. All right, I gotta put my good clothes on. Bye, Daddy. I'm gonna go get some. Hello, boy. Hello there. I'm an old person, freshly. I'm a freshly bathed old person. I I can just tell by looking at him. He's freshly bathed. Mmm. <laughs> smell like dandelions. Here that hot spring felt good today. Really good on my old saggy balls. Fergie in that medicinal spring was just like I was in heaven. I wanted to never leave. And then she head home or drop out of the bar first. Then I feel this comfortable. Let's go get fucked up. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I love hearing the shit that people say in the background. It's so ridiculous. It really does remind me of Grand Theft Auto. Those are some of the best parts of that game are the, just hearing the stupid shit people say in the background. They're like, yeah, you better run, fool. I'm about to come over and fuck your ass. You're so stupid. You're so stupid, Riku. <laughs> oh, right. I was like, there's something I wanted to do. Oh, yes. I want to get, I want to get some more bionutrients in preparation. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go have a study session with with On. Whoa! Keep it in your pants, buddy. You're not even ranked two with her yet. <laughs> I know, but not my kindness level two. I can finally hang out with her. All right, let's go study. You're a big help. Let's be at the diner, Shibuya. Oh, goody. Beck, were you just here earlier? Yeah, I like coming here. What can I say? Give me more coffee. <sighs> that long sentence is tough. Try to think about what the underlined section means. Are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? I see. She's helping me with my with my English. It's pretty tough. I think so. Thanks to your help, on senpai uh, I'm in your class. Oh, right. I'm so jealous you get one-on-one -on -one study session with Lady On, Nico. What, you can't, you don't even have to go to school, all right? All you need to worry about is eating, sleeping, and shitting on my futon. Seems like you're making more progress than usual, too. Oh, give me three fucking points. Hell yeah. All right, all, all right. right. Oh, that was, a, that was a smart thing to do. That's not it. Actually, not so good at this because of my time abroad. Anyway, time to study. Here we go. Oh, hey, awesome. Although, <laughs> although kind of pointless because pretty sure we're going to wreck up. <laughs> Still at level one. Think you'd help me with the math next? Hell yeah, girl. Let's get back. I'm so tired. Let's stop here. Today. Pollen's killing my fucking sinuses, man. All right, well, at least I think I'll be ready for Wednesday for the exam. Mm. Uh, ah! What are you talking to me for? Mm, looks like you're attending school seriously. That reminds me. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. Uh, not really. In the same class. You know, you guys also told me, you know, voices her, freaking Kamara and Aggie. <laughs> and her name's Makoto? What the fuck? It's like a freaking role reversal here. God, yeah, she's uh, Cherami something or other. She's she's also the voice actress for uh, A2. She's getting a lot of work these days. It's in class. Oh. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita, but what was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> that girl scares me. Time to learn. Oh, that's a new looking guy, I think. Mr. Nui. I'm making this guy a British accent, because why the fuck not? An exam starting tomorrow. It's too late to cram, so don't even try it. Shall now, we begin? Ignore the fact that my voice actor here doesn't have an English accent at all. Now then, picking up from last time, the end of the, the, the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the, the Heiki, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. 
By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week is called Magistrate's Prep Patronage. That term came from the t name of the position, position that a certain hero held. Now then, Bizzleku. Ah, fuck me, what? Do you know the answer? Who do you think is the origin of the term Magistrate's Patronage? Oh, you've got to be shit my dick right now. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I think this is, a, this is a fine example of a Japanese culture question that regular Americans will have no idea. All right, tell me, Internet. <laughs> Minamoto no Yatsune. That one. This is it. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. Magistrate was Minamoto no y y Yoshitsune's title, which later became his nickname. Although Yoshitsune helped defeat the tiara, he was driven out by his brother and killed himself. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, really? Oh my god, I love him so much. I want to freaking date him. This seems kind of smart, doesn't he? I was really surprised at this point. I've said every question I've been asked in this game so far correctly. Wow, you must be really smart to answer that. I must be really cheating to answer that. <laughs> Thanks, right. internet. Rather than siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people who prefer the underdog proposing them. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. Yep. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? That's right. After school. What are your thoughts? Oh, still, still the pollen warning. Don't forget your exam start tomorrow. Do you need to put any, any last minute studying? What we got? Oh. Can we chat? All sorts of things have been running through my head lately. It's like, I can't really collect my thoughts on my own. It'd be super helpful if there was someone around who could listen to me. So, um, do you have time? Do you want to grab some coffee? I'm in the underground mall Shibuya station right now. Can you head over there? Well, okay. No! <laughs> the track is back. Hey, looks like they're really bringing, gonna bring back the track team. The coach is gonna be Yam Yamaoshi, too. The guy's based in Kamashita Jr. I swear, I swear he's scheming something. I'm actually gonna look into that myself. What's your thoughts on the train today? Uh, God dang. I wanna hang out with everybody. Why? Why so hard? Oh, hey! Wait, is this supposed to be the Phantom Beast logo? Is this here before? It's kinda dumb. Did we draw that? Hey, do you know what claws scraping on a blackboard sound like? <laughs> no, and you better not. You do, I'm throwing you one of these trash cans. I can't believe it! <laughs> you can actually see all the pollen actually floating around <laughs> in the hallway here. I'm not sure if the video is picking it up for you guys, but... Oh! Oh, gross! Oh, hey, it's you! You're right. Was there anything else that caught your attention? Was he acting indifferent after that strange pit posting went up? <laughs> Are they talking about me while I'm standing right here? Uh, I think he was the same as always, or maybe about Ryuji. I'm not sure. I heard he's dangerous, so I try to get my distance from him. Nope, definitely talking about me. Alright, I think I want to hang out with An, you know? I want to get her her thing started, so... Alright, girl. I'm feeling kind now. Let's do this. Thanks. I'll be waiting here. I feel like someone was watching me this morning. What should I do? Maybe I wouldn't hurt to at least ask. But no, but then... But Ian seems stressed. Oh, oh, never mind. It's nothing. Yes, with my current level of kindness, I can fucking sack up. Fine, seriously, besides, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Hey, tell me about your problems, all right? I want you to rely on me. I want you to rely on me. Uh, 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 okay. I guess it wouldn't be so bad talking to you about this stuff. Truth is, there's something I want to tell you. My, my, my bomb with the animal grows closer soon. Yes! Thanks! Let's go to the diner. Well, I'm going to go take a walk while you're busy. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Don't you hit on my girl! Shut up, Morgana. Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about, Nico. It's Shio. Well, I went to visit her in the hospital. She she said she was sorry. Sorry for not telling me about Kamashita, about all the things he was doing to her. But it was my fault, too. I didn't realize how much trouble she was in. I wasn't there for her. So I apologize as well. Are you feeling better now? She's, she's so strong. So are you friends again? God dang it. Uh, are you feeling better now? Yeah. I finally got to tell her everything I could I couldn't bring myself to say before. Hey. You know, I think it could be I'm not sure if I'm totally right about this, but I think when I see the like the multiple sparklies, I think that means I picked like the the best one, I think. I don't know, I'll have to see play it by ear, but I I, I think there are times where you don't see the sparklies and it might suggest that you didn't pick the, the best choice. Like even though I only got two there, maybe that was as much as you could possibly get. And, um, remember how Kamashita threatened to take Shio off the team if I didn't sleep with him? 
I don't like redo it so that I wouldn't ruin Shio's dreams. But then I think about it, he never would have put her on the bench and cost his team games. I seriously should have dared him to try and take her out, take her off starting spot. At the end, maybe I just didn't really didn't believe in her ability. You can't believe, can't blame yourself. Yeah, you might be right. That's a good thing, Sam. Kind she had the upper hand. Yeah, you can't blame yourself. Oh. You think so? But it all happened because I was weak. That's why I believe Kamashi's authority outweighed Shion's own ability to earn her, her st starting spot. Um... Nico, do you remember the last time I talked to you like this? I got that phone call from Kamashita and cried. I felt so alone. Scared, even. Because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it, but I now see you just wanted yes. to help. Thanks. It's no big deal. I could just ignore you. You're so kind, Nico. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. <sighs> Prissy bitch, Kamashita's girl. I got tired of it pretty quickly. But to tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to tell to take labels like that in stride. Hey! Hey, I'm personas of the power of the heart, right? It means if my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. Damn right. So I want to strengthen my heart. And I want to use that strength to help the people around me. I hope we can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamashita's heart. Hmm. Though honestly, I don't even know what strong is. But I'm going to find the answer. I promise. I'll help. Let's fight together, girl. We're going to do this. H huh? Really? Thanks. Thanks. I feel like I'm all... I'm a little stronger already. I guess that doesn't really count, though, huh? <laughs> I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. All right. This is hide a motivation for Vaughn. Girl talk. Chance to step in after a shadow negotiation fails. So I can retry. All right. All right. Cool. I, I guess would that stack them with Ryuji's? So like, now I have like two chances essentially. Strong heart. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, how about this? I won't get any refills on fountain drinks. I mean, the free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that not right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you're funny, on. Us. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Ah, uh, it's good. Uh, I love this. I love these games. I love this uh, game so far. It's, it's so good. Hi, Daddy. What do you want? See, how yeah. you doing? I trust people so easily. When push comes to shove, they'll all stab me in the back here. Thanks, Daddy. Trust nobody. Make no friends. Live as a loner. Die sad, lonely, broken man. Sounds good. The scandal of Mr. Kamashi's violence and indecency have made an impact on our society. The high school where he worked and the Board of Education have been inundated with the protest. Oh, yeah. I see his picture on the screen there. Even in town and on the internet, many parents can be seen speaking out about their anger and unease. Talking about Kamashita again. It's like a lot of people have been complaining about him. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> oh, exams, exams soon. Are coming up soon. <sighs> You're not getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? <laughs> if you gonna do it, you wanna do it together? I'm in serious trouble. What's he gonna do? You wanna stay with Ryuji? No! <laughs> Let's do yes. it. Yes. Can't leave my boy hanging? Oh, damn, we got a new crossword puzzle though. Oh, well. Seems like you get a bit of a bonus from staying with your friends here, so. Getting plus three knowledge. Like, fuck yeah. Let's do it, man. It's a huge help. <laughs> Too bad. Actually, I think about it. Probably should have hung out with you before then, and that, because then, uh, would have gotten a, top, well, a little bit of a boost for the next time we hung out, but oh well. It's a huge help. waiting at the diner in Shibuya. It's always that diner. It's always that diner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> What's that little thing on the. Oh, is that his little pencil carrier or something? Oh, I'm starting to get the hang of this. So I guess it's what I do, do with this one, too. Wait, that's no good. Damn it, what I mess up on? Uh, try starting over. Maybe a careless mistake. Try starting over, man. Good advice, Nico. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. Yeah, oh, give me that knowledge. Knowledge is power! All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, here. If I just fix this. Whoa, problem solved. Dude, you're freaking amazing. I love you, man. Uh, see, I've got two points for fuck. <laughs> Still, fuck. I don't imagine points carry over. I, I, I think it's like, it's assuming it's based on the previous games, which I'm pretty sure it's like, you get the points, and they get you to that, that next level, 
you can hang out with them and get as many points as much as you want from that point on but it's not gonna to add to anything essentially until you level them up again is that right am, am i under the right uh assumption here i'm gonna grab refill so that question's got me real pumped up yeah man wanna head back so we should go home high five Is it just a prank? Oh, that's interesting. Is it actually going down the fan site? I think it is. From maybe lack of activity from us. Did Kamashin have a psychotic breakdown? She haven't stayed at all. I'm so bummed! Have you heard what's happened since then? This, this sucks. It's like these bagels. Bagels suck. Pulled all nighter last night. Really? Did you get caught? <laughs> Did you get caught pulling an all nighter last night? All right, guys, here we go. Well, shall we begin? Now then, let the first day of exams begin. Although the lines connect to ATC, it looks like it leads to B instead. What's the phenomenon called? <laughs> Astigmatism. <laughs> An optical illusion. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Diddly. Mm. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. What is the reason why people will see the same thing differently? If how they're seeing things is different, it probably has something to do with this kind of information. Sensei, Nico's cheating from his cat. Uh, visual information? Right. And how you see something visual... How you see something is visual information. What takes the visual information from your eyes and processes is the, uh... <laughs> the, ma the marrow. The brain. Right. Brain processes visual information, so the reason why people see things differently is... They have different cognitions. They have visual... Their visual acuity. How accurate... How accurate the printout is now. They have different cognitions. How the brain interprets the same visual data, how one perceives the world differs from person to person. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Yep. You finished in time. Yes. Ah, oh, sparklies. <laughs> time is up. Put your put down your pencils and put your hands under your desk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on, Mr. Kitty, yeah. What else? We're just gonna jump to the next day, yep. Doing like we did in the other games. Just like fuck it. Just gonna blaze through this shit. Doesn't matter what I did for the rest of the day. At night or after school. None of that matters. Let's get started. Oh my god, it's me, Edgeworth teacher. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Which of the following expressions came from the name of the position that Minamo Minamoto no Yoshitsune held? Braggart. Ma magistrate's patronage. I remember that. Ooh, we can do that. Sounds about right. Yeah. Oh. Where's the, the, the origin of the English word talent? Uh, the name of of a sum of currency. I see actually I, here I can't actually use the uh, the internet to help me. <laughs> the name of a saint, the name of an artist. I think it was the name of a sum of currency. Ooh, we can Sounds do about it. right. Yes. Seriously, what am I doing on the nights of these days, huh? Okay, class. Let's oh get God, it's me again. Oh! <laughs> Today is the third day of exams. Go ahead and get started. What do the Greek philosopher Socrates say that evil is born from? Ignorance, desire, curiosity. Ignorance, I believe. Ooh, Sounds about guys. right. What's the least number of colors need to paint Japan so that no two colors are based on the same color? Alright, I fucked up this one was before. Ooh, we can do this! Okay, and then the last day, I think, right? And this is probably, if we're going by how the other games were, this is going to be based on just how much studying I've done, I've done or my, my level of knowledge or whatever. Oh, no, we're just done. <sighs> Oh, I'm so sleepy. I've been pulling all nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Oh, no, we are still going. Okay. You staying up studying? Nah, I give up on the exam. I was playing some games, and before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> Damn, Ryuji. I know that feeling. You're feeling, you're feeling for sure. How manly. <laughs> I know that feeling, bro. Oh, you say that, but you probably spend the whole night studying. <sighs> I was just trying to make you feel better, dick. Morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the, to cross the finish line. Mm. 
Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from the stupid monkey I know. <laughs> huh? Give me that crap. Brain's tiny compared to mine. <laughs> yeah, I think more better than you. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside you now. What was that? Bitch, I will cut you. <laughs> what was that? Uh, will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Hmm? Am I imagining things? <laughs> What's wrong? Need the, need the bathroom? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> oh, you see a grouper or something? No, that's not it. It's it's nothing. Uh oh. It must be that blue haired guy we saw before. Oh! Aluma Ichome. Aluma Ichome. Aluma Ichome. Oh. oh my god! That guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <laughs> Fine. Come on. Huh? We're gonna look at him? Uh oh. <laughs> oh! Don't think so, creepo. It is. That's air, bro. Hmm. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? Uh, I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! <laughs> stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> My goodness, I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> That's the guy, right? That's the guy we go after. <laughs> Damn, dude, it wasn't that funny. This guy seems like he must go to another school, right? I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. <laughs> Oh God! It's like some Aussie Fonzie guy. He does have that. He does have a very Tagami sounding voice, doesn't he? Didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. <laughs> okay. Is he like attracted to your beauty or something? What? Huh? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Oh God! It's gonna be like, let me paint you, <laughs> like I did do my French girls. Be the model for my next art piece. <laughs> yes! I was right, I knew it. M model? You'd have to be naked, though. All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. <laughs> this man's highly suspicious. Seems highly horny. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? This guy really needs to work on his social skills. Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. Kosei High, okay. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Yusuke? Yusuke, you're a meshi? No, K Kitagawa. Kitagawa. <laughs> ah, never mind. I'm Motorame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. Oh. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? Uh, it's the guy that you, the other guy was complaining about, and I'm guessing the guy in that car over there. He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! Ah! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. <laughs> I guess this guy must be some kind of piece of shit. That old guy's Matarame? 
Madarame-sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. I like this song they play here. I don't know, it's kind of, it's something kind of goofy about it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. Yeah, this guy is some kind of sexy though. God damn. Look at him and his flowing locks. He's so sophisticated too. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. <laughs> oh shit! What? Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. I hope you weren't talking to me when you said that shit. I was talking to Ryusuke, Ry Ryuki there. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? Well, he was kind of hot. I know, right? I'm gonna go too. I think I will. Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. I think she she just really wants to go because she, he mentioned Madarame. How dare he go after Lady On? <laughs> I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. <laughs> oh damn, you better watch out, Yusuke! We're gonna gonna sneak out at night and murder in your sleep. Oh shit, here we go again. Am I seriously telling you every detail of my daily life? This got me boring the shit out of you. Then I went and took a dump. Then I talked to daddy that night. Had some coffee. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. Oh. Is he taking the credit or something? So he's taking taking in talented kids or something and then mooching off them, essentially, I guess? But how did you discover such horrible deeds that were hidden all these years in such a short time? I'm just that observant. The metaverse. I don't remember. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Yeah, see, that, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's someone else is, is doing that. I don't want to say. I don't know. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Fine. Continue telling me about Madarame's case. Keep it concise and only of the truth. <laughs> she's, she's like, look at her watch like, like, hmm, well, it has been 18 hours. I'm shocked that it hasn't been like, like, we'll continue this the next day or something. Like, seriously, it's gotta be fucking ridiculous. These last days of exams, huh? Seems like some of those were kind of tough. Yep. That well, wasn't too bad. Should have got a decent score, right? Okay, so that's. I'm betting if it were, you know, if I, if I were like level three or something, it'd probably be like. It seems so easy. Mm, it's over. The answers are just flowing out of my hand, like, <laughs> like we're so far. I'm like, you'd like start writing even faster, like yes, yes. Uh, answers are just flowing out of me. And the paper's like lights on fire. You're writing so fast. It's over. Oh, hey, there's Madarame right there on that uh, monitor there. How about you? I'm feeling confident. It's over. Feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're going to come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? <laughs> I know, right? There's no point in getting antsy, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna my Sharona this shit. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. Yeah, it's gonna get fucked up. I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. 
don't have that much left. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Look, I'm, not, I'm not fucking rich. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Madarami's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? <laughs> We're gonna let it go. You're not even the same species as her. It's not like that. Oh, of course not. <laughs> but listen, let's be honest. He is pretty easy on the eyes. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Yeah, what else are we gonna do? Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Monorame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> yeah. Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Well, you don't got a ticket. You're not about it. So let me bring my cat in. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Yeah. Well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> I'm Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. <laughs> I know. I feel like a big kid. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady On. Curious to know if Malarama has anything to do with the name we heard of Mementos. Whatever the case may be, we can't be late. We better get to bed early. Damn it! Come on! There's no reason I can't stay up and do some shit. So I keep thinking about what Nakanahara said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Malarama? That sounds about right. Second it. Great, the name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Malarama? It's not. It's really not common at all. So what we heard is tr what we heard is true. Kitagawa kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. Me, a teacher who treats people like tools. Kitagawa kun's life is probably pretty terrible. Gotta look into this. Next up, entertainment. An exhibition featuring Japanese artist Ichiru Say Madarame opens tomorrow in Shibuya. Especially for the exhibition, is exhibition is high with special broadcasts on TV and great ticket sales. Hey, it's that old guy. I didn't think he would actually be famous. Let's not do. That. God damn it! Fuck! Arr! All right, fine. Hey! Go next this from tomorrow, right? Don't oversleep. Get your Rusei Monorame and find an infinite font of ideas, huh? I read the blurb on the ticket, but it seems that this Monorame is actually an amazing artist. Oh. So his pieces might be worth looking at after all. Yeah, let's go steal some shit. <laughs> Gotta bump up the... That freaking pole. Show people we exist. I'm real, damn it! What is this line for? Oh, that exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Wanna come back to another time? I want it, but it's so expensive. I should get a loan. I wanna see that. Let's go together sometime. I walk in, it's gonna start playing. It's so crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. <laughs> ah! Oh, hey, baby. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> Damn, you really don't like Ryushi for some reason. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Damn, dude. Come now. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. I can't tell the same to Ryuji or at both, or Ryuji and myself, and he's really just focused on, on like, fuck it, fuck the other guys, though. That wouldn't be surprised. Well, see you guys later. Yeah, don't mind us. We'll just stick around. Will Leon be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? All right, you go after him, Mr. Kitty. Go get him. I told you not to come out. <laughs> Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Let's learn about Monorame. So we should look around. I wanna stay! <laughs> Let's learn about Monorame, man. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? <laughs> the future dictates it, Ryuji. Hmm? Oh, there he is. It's that old man from the other day. 
We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what he's doing. He's using the he's having these kids paint for him, and he's taking all the credit for it. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? But it probably they don't say anything because they, he's letting them stay there, right? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. Oh, is that how you pronounce that word? Atelier? Shack. I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? madarame san is actually here? Wait, wait, what? Was this something that Yusuke mentioned? Over there! Oh my god! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh, holy shit. Hey, stop pushing. There's way too many people. Ah, oh god. One of them's eating me. He's eating me. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we got to head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? Too late. Go without me, Ryuji. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. He's saying he's created them all by himself, but... He just, is he just defending him, or... There you, not you know? are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. Ah, this one's got a picture of a kitty on it. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. Is that his painting? To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> oh. Something wrong? Don't mind me. I know he is. He's just defending him. So he is aware of it. So he's claiming every one of these paintings in here is his. But he, Yusuke said he's he, he is his protege, right? So he's saying he paints on his own, but it isn't anything we're seeing here. I, I there see. are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. I know, I got kicked in the dick. Thanks to that, I remember now. Wait, what about on? Let's not worry about it for now. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why did you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Ah. Oh. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Hmm. 
Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Hmm, who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? <laughs> are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Yeah, hi, we're the, we're the guys that fucked you up the other day. Remember in that alternate reality? Anyway, uh, how's it going? <laughs> Wanna tell us about Besides, this, dude? If we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? He does. Most might be fake. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, Ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. <laughs> but he wants me to get naked for it. I don't know what you guys are there for it for that. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In case we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, then this might just be exactly what we needed. All right. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't even notice it actually has the. The big ones on the side of the menu there. Well, I guess it means I can't go out again. I'm just gonna call it a go to fucking sleep. God damn it! Ah, uh, fine. Gonna you ever gonna let me have a nightlife? Nope. Oh yes. I'm seeing a lot of you this episode. Oh yeah, the great. Great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gotten to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. Though when I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Mr. Ku. What the hell? No, I'm very Here's sophisticated. Do you know who created this? The piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? <laughs> Mar Madarame! Caso Van Gogh. I would say Van Gogh, but, uh, yep. Oh, not bad. That's correct. Seems you knew with no thing or two after all. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen and is sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. No way. Did you know that? I had no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? He actually is smart. Kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice wow, going. you must be the best ever. Duh. Fucking duh. Boom, baby. All right. All right. He built a serious mode of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind pay having a painting or two of myself. Haha. Hey, hey. Seems like art can make you a tidy sum. Let's see with our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're meeting Lydian and the others at the train station, right? Let's go when class lets out. Yeah, 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 I know. Come on. Phantom Thief's going by train. This, this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train's the fastest way to go. So we can bring pets on here. No. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We made the pet, the pet fair. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Hey! <laughs> oh, a kitty! <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Kitty! Shut, go away, Pete. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I hear it meowing. Hello, Mr. Kitty. Stuffed animal, you're imagining things. Just a creature. It's a 
stuffed animal. Don't move. Yeah, it's just a toy. Be honest when you press press on its head. <laughs> wow, Morgana is dead dead still right now. Hey. Don't blink. Don't blink. <laughs> you heard her, Nico. Press on set. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna be so pissed at me later. This is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 Press it gently. I'll press forcefully. <laughs> time to time to button match. <laughs> oh my god! All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! So nonchalantly like, did it. Oh, uh, you heard the little girl, my god. I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Alright, one more time. <laughs> the next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'll see you in Nino Gude. Man, I ought to play that game. Get out of here, little girl. So, which line do we got transferred to? It's not like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of Phantom Thief takes a train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposed to be, it's supposedly a shack, but it's the neighborhood he lives in. It's expected of a famous artist. Okay, let's get so the fastest route is to get to the station square, then go to Central Street. Let's move. All right, guys. <laughs> Send to the main part of the city here. Wait. Wait, you sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, that was the right way. Okay. Guru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. I think he might be the one who talked with the principal earlier about investigating this matter. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. He seems like he's gonna end up being a bad guy. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. I think it was him. We say you already had somebody looking at it. Is that it? We're at the right address. I feel like I'm back in Persona 4 place. Seriously, this looks exactly like the street I lived on there. The door plate does say Matarame. <laughs> I should know. I played that game for like over 100 hours. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? <laughs> no one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Yeah. Poor people. Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. And her friends. I'll be right out. I'm coming. People really do live here. Takamaki. <laughs> you two are here as well. <laughs> no, it is. It is directed at both of us. Come on, man. I want to be buddies. Let's be friends. Hey. <laughs> hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? <laughs> Damn, are you just gonna jump right to it? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Pretty preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. Uh. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. 
Rue it! You really think that? Yusuke. <laughs> ah! Oh, she's my brother! Everyone run! What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? It's Yusuke's fault. When now, yelling. If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? <laughs> I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. Damn. <laughs> he, is, he is digging hard on on. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Over dinner, maybe. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. No! It's totally him! He's hiding it! Hiding it! Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? Oh. It's display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. Hmm, okay. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? Then, what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Uh, jail, uh, warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No <laughs> candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? No, I'm gonna get this, guys. A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Oh, a museum. An art school, an art supply store, a museum. It is. Beginning navigation. Whoa. Really? Yeah, told you. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Time to witness his dirty deeds firsthand. Let's find out what big of a prick this guy really is. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Woo. Hey, wait. Hey, when did you have to make the nap? You surprised me. I got opposable thumbs. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get get it right. Damn, it's not as bad it got here. If I hadn't noticed, then water enough and got caught by an enemy. Come on. I probably would have figured it out since he started walking on two legs. Hey. So Evie, you can slip into the metaverse without a real without realizing it, Morgana? Yep, in a place with minimal co cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? Get that look! Ooh! Nice! Shaq is seriously some kind of museum? Hey! 
Let's go check it out. All right. It's so extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Good question. I guess this is a slightly nicer museum. You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Hell yeah. De definitely, it's probably traps too. Hell yeah, man. Now that's our joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Stay in life fucking hours. Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, we're gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Cool, all right. Nifty. No, Gemma, I'm leaving. All right, guys, well, I think I'm gonna end here for now. Uh, it's so hard, it's so hard to stop playing this game. Like seriously, this is a game I would just, if, if it weren't a let's play, I would just sink hours and hours and hours into like every day. Just gotta be patient, all right? Good things come to those who wait. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already, become a Piggy Penguin. For the SLB, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always guys, till next time, stay classy. Here comes Miss Bernie. I got the bone, Nico. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gotta drop it on my crotch. Okay, here we go. Ah! Get the ball. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that ball. I'm gonna get that ball. Ah! <laughs> we got it. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Get to my clothes there, Brady! Oh, I know. She loves this game. It's her favorite game. Yeah. Oh, 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 you almost got it. Oh, you almost got it. Okay, there it goes. Ready? Now, give it a throw. She grabs it and comes running back, and we can do it again. Do it again, do it again, Nico, do it again. Okay.